Um, it's, I don't know what it means to me. Um, it's an experiment. I'm playing. I'm seeing what different things look like together and how they go together. And hopefully it will be exuberant and someone will want to have it on their wall. Are you affected, or I should say, how is the process affected by people walking around, watching, and so forth? It's a little distracting. <laughs> Just a little? But it's okay. That's the nature of what this is. Um, yeah. Um, um, let's see. What, it seems like I'm forgetting something here. Oh, yeah. Do you have a particular like philosophy or, or influence to uh, the art that you do? Is there a particular philosophy or influence? There's a couple different philosophies, and the one that probably is most pertinent to this piece is um, one that I based a whole series of work on, and the series of work is called Buddha at the Hot Dog Stand. And it's based on the joke, which looks like you may have heard because you're smiling. What the name. The name, I like the name. What did Buddha say when he went to the hot dog stand? I don't know, what did Buddha say when he went to the hot dog stand? He said, make me one with everything. <laughs> very good. <laughs> well, thank you. That's, well, that's yes. Well, they'll haunt me now for a few days. Thank you very much. It's the only joke I can remember. <laughs> Your name, sir? David Gista. And uh, have you been? A, are you a member? Have you been a member uh, for a while? Member. I've been a member for several years. I was a board member also. Oh yeah. I thought you looked familiar. Uh, what 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 uh, what inspired you to participate in the Panathon today? Well, I think uh, the organization is a very good organization for artists, it supports artists, it, um, it gives resources to artists, and also it creates an artistic community in Chicago and ties it together. So I, I'm really supporting very highly that organization. Is this the sort of work that you usually do, um, or one of the maybe types of work that you do, or is it special for this occasion? Or That's the kind of... Uh, a Part of the work I do is drawing, and that I consider that as my drawings, even if they are done with fire. So I burn, as a drawing process, I burn the paper, but that's only a part of my work. That's not my entire, I'm mostly a painter, but that's, but well, I've so done that before. I've done that. Yeah. Mostly a painter, but this is, you do this with fire, drawing with fire, you're saying. And what, what kind of fire do you use? Uh, what sort of device? I use a blowtorch, like a creme brulee blowtorch, and I use also watercolor, which I'm trying to combine water and fire. So I think the concept is pretty amusing, I mean, interesting. Does the blowtorch like, get put out by the water a lot, or what happens there? Sorry, what did you say? Does the blowtorch get put out by the water a lot? I mean, you know, how's, that, how's that work out, practically speaking? Not really, no. They, 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 co they, they coexist pretty well together. How many fires, like, in your surroundings have you inadvertently started during this uh, special, using this process? You know, I, I can't talk about it today. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, well, okay, does it, does it, let's change the subject. Does it affect your process, your, what you do, uh, having people, you know, like, running around, making noise, looking at you, watching you, etc.? No, not at all. Actually, I like it because it gives uh, me an opportunity to exchange with people and you know, let them know about my process. There is curiosity, obviously, about the process because it's pretty unusual. And for me, it's interesting to inform people and exchange with them there and, and, and really have, a, have an idea of their, the way they receive it, their response. Is there any particular, like, influence or philosophy that influences your work? Not really. The, I, the, the, what started me on doing that body of work is I had to produce a large body of work and I was burnt out. So I'm, I put my feeling with my, with my ideas together and, and the necessity to produce work fast, but with that emotion of being burnt out that helped me to get the idea and then do it. So that's mostly it. What does this particular piece mean to you? Well, that's named the poet, and that's the idea of a solitary figure that um, is protecting itself against uh, the environment, the, the intellectual environment, or the, the kind of the buzz, and trying to create its own art with words and letters and, you know, falling. You know, there is the combination between the rain, the, the words, the language, and the, the status of a, this solitary artist. Okay, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Have a, have a good evening. Now. Thank you.
that's cool. Yeah. Hello, what's your name, sir? Uh, Paul. Paul. Uh, 